what's up my z girls welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you with a makeup tutorial an updated makeup tutorial with some new products that i have i'm going in first with the milk hydro grip primer one of the best primers out here make sure y'all get y'all some sephora is always in stock with them and get into it First, I'm going in and cleaning her eyebrows before I apply her foundation. And I'm going to go in with the NARS Cast, whatever, and the Marquises. I don't know how to pronounce these names. Um, I'm going in with two different shades because she was literally two different shades. She was a little lighter in, like, the concealer areas already and darker around the contour areas and everything like that so i just did a dark to light well light to dark um foundation mixture um here i just went in with like a flat brush and just laid the foundation down um this brush is from luxury bell studios this is my cousin's brand which is really really great and here i'm just showing you guys that i'm going in the with the marquises after i went in with the concas however you pronounce it um, and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend that out and get into it. Also, this beauty blender is damp and it's from Real Techniques. Now I'm going to go in with my Luxury Bell Brow Pencil in the shade Brown. Um, as you see, again, I clean her eyebrows up with the spoolie. And basically, I just go with the shape of the eyebrow. Um, sometimes I have to add a little bit more of an arch because sometimes the eyebrow is uneven. But most of the time, you really don't have to do that. And I go in and blend it in so that the brown can, you know blend in with her eyebrow um there's no holes or whatever and you see the skin or whatever the case may be and then i go in with my nw40 matte concealer this has been my favorite concealer since i was in high school and i cannot get off of it and i basically take like a dense small brush and then i go in and blend that right on out and you guys will see that the further you watch Also guys, I'm sorry if I'm blocking you in some of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, I like to get close and personal because I'm very, very particular into detail and I, I need to be right in front of it in order to see. Also, I wear glasses and I wasn't wearing glasses and my glasses are from far away. I don't know, your girl's eyesight is changing. I'm closer to 30, so I don't know, I'm getting old, things are changing my body. So I had a lot going on, so I had to get up close and personal um like i said i apologize once again if i'm blocking off some of the stuff but mostly you can see what i'm doing in the whole concept of everything
top of her brow, I just went in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Walnut. And I just went also around the shape of her eyebrows just to clean it up. Um, if I see any errors that I may have caused by filling in her brows, I just cleaned that up and then I went in and blended it as well. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Ultra Creamy in the shade Tan Deep Sand. I'm going to go in the inner bottom corners of the eye and the outer corners. This gives more of a lifted effect versus the triangle method. I stopped using it personally when I tried this new method. Um, it just works out better and it gives your makeup such a different appearance. And then I'm just gonna go in with the rest of the T area with the same concealer. In with the NW40 matte concealer it's a darker shade from the Tarte concealer that just gives it a different look too as well you know how you go in with a darker concealer and then you'll go over it with a lighter one to give you that lighter under eye I kind of create that same effect all in one step
now I'm gonna go in and set her concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent honey I also went in again with the luxury bell brush this is more like a fluffy almost dense brush um, I don't have a name for this brush it was kind of shaped like an almond um, I used that because I was like okay the tip of it can go right into the corner of her eyes as you guys can see what I'm doing here and also lay um, a flat base of the setting powder as well Please let me make this known. I love this setting powder. I used to use the Sacha, but now I cannot get off of Laura Mercier. Like the reviews I used to watch, like I definitely understand why it was so gassed because this stuff is like butter. Now I'm gonna go in with this Morph Glam Bronzer in the shade Trailblazer. I love this shade. And also my stipple brush, I'm sorry. Um, the stipple brush gives you like a airbrushed effect. Um, I learned that from my good sis because she's great at makeup and she was like, oh, try this. But like I was saying, I love this shade because it's very soft. It doesn't give you a harsh contour look. And as you guys seen, I don't go in with like a cream contour shade first blend that in and then go over it i like to straight bronze because like i said it just gives a soft look i don't like harsh contour it just doesn't work for me i feel like maybe if you're going for a more dramatic look that's what you would do but for me personally i love to bronze Also, I usually do go in with a blush on top of the bronzer. Um, this time, I didn't do that. She was in a rush to go to an event. So I didn't have time, but the bronzer still worked out perfectly fine. There are some people who actually just bronze and don't use any blush, and it still looks great as you guys will end up seeing. Again, I just go in with the Laura Mercier with the Beauty Blender right under the bronze area. I don't like to use concealer. Some people do use concealer first, but personally, I feel like it's just too light at the bottom of the face and you're not trying to have the face too off from the neck, even though I do bronze underneath the face and under the chin area. But still, I just feel like once you put that concealer and blend it in, it just kind of blends into that area. And the whole purpose of you matching the face and the neck is just thrown off. That's just my personal thing. Another thing, I do not bake under the eyes, nose, and the chin area. I only bake under that bronze area to give it that small lighter effect. I didn't notice that my camera was off. I already went in and started contouring the nose. I create like a circle effect at the tip of the nose and leave that concealer remaining in the middle. I went in with my Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara Hydrofuge on the top and bottom lashes before applying her lashes.
NYX matte eyeliner. I am hurt, you guys. Hurt. My soul, my heart is crushed. They discontinued this eyeliner. So my last two little bottles of it is almost gone. And I want to cry so bad. Because I will never find another matte eyeliner like this one. Like when it dries, it's literally matte. And it just does what you want it to do. Other eyeliners leave like a shiny base even though it says it's matte. And that's not what we want. Like, I'm so hurt, you guys. But I just went in and put a small amount, gave her a little shape. I didn't want to do too dramatic because I wanted to keep her look natural and subtle. I just went in with the BH Cosmetics dense brush and just blend it out the rest of that setting powder I had baking. I also went back in with the Trail Blazer, just the remainder, whatever was on the brush, and blend it into that setting powder just to give it a softer look so it won't be such a harsh line. She bought some Eye Envy Luxury Mink 3D Lashes. They were giving individuals. They were real cute. They was going from short to long. I love that look. That look always does it for me, and they were full and just pretty. If you guys notice that there's any brushes that I use that I put no name or anything, that's because literally I do not know where I got it from because it has no name on it. I went back in with the Luxury Bell brow brown pencil also i went in with the luxury bell elite lip gloss it's a pretty shade of pink you guys will see it coming up and also the Too faced lip injection um claire kind of pinkish lip gloss i love that stuff it get them lips feeling full and looking full and it just be shining and it you know it's that sticky mm, lip gloss that we all love you guys will see that coming up also Sadly, we didn't get to set her face after this. This is the end of it. But normally, I would go in with my NYX matte finish spray and top the look off. But this is what we got. Come on. Nah, what's my brush? Oh my. Yo. No fucking way, Alicia. No fucking way. What's my brush? No fucking way. 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 <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs>
No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. <laughs> like what? And y'all see face beat to the gods looking like pure silk on her face. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn that bell notification on.